Welcome to the Cosmic Frontier, where today we're diving into one of the most groundbreaking discoveries in space exploration history, made possible by the James Webb Telescope. Prepare to be taken on a journey beyond the stars, as we uncover a revelation so profound, it has sent shockwaves through the scientific community and reshaped our understanding of the universe. Stay with us as we explore the depths of outer space and reveal what the James Webb Telescope has discovered that shocked the industry. Imagine uncovering secrets of the universe so profound that they astonish even the most experienced astronomers, causing them to throw up their hands in disbelief. This is precisely what the James Webb Space Telescope has achieved in its recent journey through the stars. It has revealed wonders so remarkable that they're revolutionizing the entire space sector. From a galaxy hosting a black hole that challenges our existing scientific paradigms to a mysterious light signal emanating from unexplored cosmic frontiers, these discoveries aren't merely adding new chapters to our space saga. They're completely rewriting the cosmos rulebook. Utilizing the James Webb Space Telescope, scientists have identified the oldest black hole ever observed, located in a galaxy named GNs 11 and astounding 13.4 billion light years away. This black hole acts as a cosmic time capsule, offering us a glimpse into the universe just 400 million years post Big Bang. It's incredibly massive, weighing in at about 6 million times that of our Sun, and it's consuming material from its galaxy at an astonishing rate, far exceeding what our current theories predict should be possible. Roberto Molino, the lead researcher from the University of Cambridge, has heralded this discovery as a monumental leap forward. In the realm of black hole science, the discovery has left experts scratching their heads. Yet, the sheer size of these ancient supermassive black holes baffles scientists, drawing comparisons to a family with teens and a toddler of matching height, leaving everyone wondering how did the toddler grow so tall? This enigma surrounding the rapid growth of supermassive black holes has led scientists to propose two main theories. The first theory posits that black holes start small and gradually bulk up over billions of years by devouring surrounding matter. The second theory proposes a cosmic shortcut where black holes bypass the small stage entirely, emerging as massive black hole seeds from collapsing gas and dust clouds. Interestingly, our newly discovered ancient black hole appears to support the latter theory, the heavy seed theory, suggesting it had a head start in the cosmic race to grow, thanks to a shortcut in cosmic evolution. Yet, this revelation introduces a new twist to the puzzle. The rate at which it's growing challenges our understanding even further. This black hole's voracious consumption of cosmic material suggests that black holes, in general, might be capable of ingesting matter more rapidly than previously believed. This is where the cosmic principle, known as the Eddington Limit, comes into play. It establishes a theoretical maximum rate at which an object can accrue mass without the radiation it emits pushing the incoming material away. During a black hole's feeding frenzy, the more it consumes, the more intense the light it emits becomes. However, should it consume too rapidly, the Eddington limit intervenes, essentially instructing it to decelerate. Our newly discovered black hole, however, appears to be defying these rules, indulging in matter at a rate five times greater than what the Eddington limit permits. This situation could be likened to a speed-eating contest among black holes. If this rapid consumption continues for 100 million years, it might negate the need for the black hole to have originated from a massive black hole seed. Instead, it could have started from a smaller seed right after the Big Bang and evolved to its current colossal size. The black hole's insatiable hunger is not merely a pathway to its own enlargement and power. It also casts it in the role of a cosmic antagonist, disrupting the development of its host galaxy, Genes 11. Though this galaxy is smaller than our Milky Way, it emits an exceptionally bright light. However, the black hole's relentless feasting is inhibiting the galaxy's growth. Imagine ultra-fast winds of particles being expelled from the black hole. These powerful gusts of wind push away the gas and dust that are essential for star formation. In essence, 
This black hole is hindering the creation of new stars in Gion's 11. The researchers responsible for this cosmic revelation view the Webb telescope as a sort of celestial champion, poised to unveil more ancient black holes. Roberto Molino is particularly excited about the Webb, likening its introduction to transitioning from Galileo's primitive telescope to a state-of-the-art model overnight. He's amazed by the universe's capacity to surprise us, and he sees this discovery as merely the tip of the iceberg. Another groundbreaking finding by the James Webb Telescope is the identification of fully formed galaxies much sooner in cosmic history than our existing models had anticipated. According to the traditional cosmological model, gravity would have gradually drawn together dense regions of cooling cosmic gas to form stars and black holes, which subsequently conglomerated into galaxies. This process was assumed to be orderly and systematic. However, the observations made by the James Webb Telescope challenge this notion, akin to discovering a family dynamic where the parents and their children exist simultaneously, while the grandparents are still youthful. This is just one of the enigmas the James Webb Telescope has presented to us. Moreover, it has reignited the debate around the Hubble tension, which concerns the rate at which the universe is expanding. This has been a long-standing puzzle, with scientists struggling to reconcile differing measurements into a single, unified rate of cosmic expansion. Two approaches are being used to determine the rate of the universe's expansion. One relies on observations from the early universe, such as those made by the James Webb Telescope, and the other on measurements of distances between stars in the contemporary cosmos. This juxtaposition has led to a bit of a dramatic situation, the standard model of cosmology, which serves as the cornerstone of our understanding of the universe, may be in jeopardy. Despite numerous updates over the last century to align with the latest data, the revelations from the James Webb Telescope have prompted some in the scientific community to question whether a simple fix is sufficient or if a comprehensive overhaul is necessary. The standard model is a testament to human ingenuity originating from Edwin Hubble's 1920s discovery that the universe is expanding. Over time, it has become a robust framework, integrating hard-earned empirical evidence with complex mathematical physics. Yet, it acknowledges that only about 4% of the universe consists of ordinary matter, with dark matter and dark energy comprising 28% and 68% C, respectively. Additionally, the model incorporates the concept of cosmic inflation, which posits that the universe underwent rapid expansion shortly after the Big Bang. Prominent figures like physicist Lee Smolin and philosopher Roberto Mangabira Unger have suggested that the foundational principles themselves, the very laws of physics, might be subject to change. This notion implies that our current models, while powerful, could be mere approximations of a more dynamic cosmic reality. Physicist John Wheeler even posited that each act of observation might influence the universe's past and future, suggesting a profound interconnectedness between observers and the cosmos. Just when scientists think they've unraveled the mysteries, new data emerges, challenging their assumptions and forcing them back to the conceptual drawing board. This iterative process of hypothesis, testing, and revision is a dance of discovery and humility that the scientific community is deeply engaged in. Yet, we might now be at a pivotal juncture that demands not merely adjustments, but a radical paradigm shift in our understanding of the cosmos. This challenge goes beyond identifying new dark matter particles. It's about reevaluating the fundamental principles that underpin our cosmic comprehension. Cosmology, residing at the intersection of science and philosophy, prompts us to grapple with essential questions about the nature of time, space, the laws governing reality, and our position as observers within this vast universe. In its inaugural year of scientific endeavors, the James Webb Space Telescope has already provided us with a celestial showcase, from deep field surveys to infrared glimpses of Mars and Jupiter, offering a thrilling journey through the cosmos. The telescope's exploration of the cosmic dawn the era roughly a billion years after the Big Bang is revealing secrets of the early universe. Interestingly, 
NASA's recent captures of space have once again highlighted the stunning interplay of light across the cosmos, igniting wonder and intrigue about the universe's intricate beauty. What's the most breathtaking sight in the cosmos? The aurora. Have you ever marveled at those mesmerizing lights dancing in the sky? I recently came across an astonishing photo taken by NASA astronaut Josh Casada, and it's truly otherworldly. The sublime beauty of the Aurora Borealis, captured from the vantage point of the International Space Station about 250 miles above our planet, is a spectacle to behold. NASA's Josh Casada, while mingling with fellow space explorers such as Nicole Mann, Koichi Wakata, and Anna Kikina aboard the ISS was treated to one of the universe's most exclusive light shows, the Aurora Borealis. While many stunning photographs of the Aurora have been taken from Earth, the perspective from space is unparalleled. Josh Casada, ever the generous spirit, shared his breathtaking experience on Twitter, along with the awe-inspiring photo. He described the view as absolutely unreal, and it's hard not to wholeheartedly agree. It's as though he was handed a VIP pass to the most magnificent spectacle in the night sky. Now, diving into the specifics of why auroras have been capturing headlines lately, it appears there's been a celestial celebration underway, with Earth right at the center of the action. Auroras are created by charged solar particles. When particles from the sun decide to interact with molecules in our atmosphere, the result is nothing short of magical. This time, the spectacle is courtesy of a potent solar wind emanating from the sun. There's a phenomenon known as a coronal mass ejection, essentially the sun's version of a solar outburst. A disruption in the sun's corona amplifies the solar wind's force, propelling vast clouds of solar plasma through space. And you guessed it, they make their way directly to Earth. These charged particles collide with our atmosphere, igniting a breathtaking display of auroras that captivate onlookers. Typically, to witness the aurora borealis in all its glory, you'd find yourself journeying to quaint locales in Norway, Finland, or Sweden. However, this occurrence decided to mix things up, gracing the skies above the UK with its presence. Residents of Scotland, Northern Wales, Ireland, and even southern England were treated to this celestial marvel. Imagine the rarity of observing the Aurora Borealis from the historic grounds of Stonehenge. Picture the scene, people gathered, eyes skyward, capturing the vibrant hues as they dance across the nocturnal canvas. It's as if nature bestowed upon us a moment of enchantment, a magical experience that's hard to resist. Being part of such a phenomenon is truly extraordinary and the science behind it is equally captivating. The heightened brilliance of the auroras is akin to nature dialing up the intensity on our own planetary light show. When the sun's charged particles collide with our atmosphere, they lay the groundwork for a stunning kaleidoscope of colors. It's as though a cosmic artist uses the night sky as a canvas, crafting strokes of green, pink, and purple across it. So. Whenever you find yourself marveling at the universe's marvels, remember that there are astronauts who have the privilege of experiencing these awe-inspiring sights firsthand. Josh Casada is living this dream, generously sharing snippets of this extraordinary experience with us through his photography. But there's no need to feel left out. Recently, the Webb telescope has captured mesmerizing cosmic lights emanating from an exoplanet sparking widespread speculation and excitement. Some even wonder if it could be a signal from extraterrestrial life, adding a layer of mystery to the discovery. Among the intriguing findings made with NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is the observation of a brown dwarf known as WISA 1935 plus 2450, which appears to host its own aurora. While the presence of auroras on a brown dwarf may initially seem unremarkable. The implications of such a discovery are profound, adding a fascinating twist to our understanding of these celestial phenomena. Red dwarfs are the smallest and coolest stars on the main sequence, comprising an astonishing three-quarters of all stars in the Milky Way. Despite their prevalence, 
Red dwarfs remain elusive to observation due to their dimness. Proxima Centauri, the nearest red dwarf to Earth, resides in the constellation of Centaurus. These stars have low mass and temperature, granting them incredibly prolonged lifespans that could surpass the current age of the universe. Next in line are brown dwarfs, celestial bodies with masses below 0.8 times that of the Sun. Brown dwarfs stand out because they lack the necessary mass to sustain nuclear fusion in their cores, placing them in a unique category between the massiveness of Jupiter and that of a typical star. Though often labeled as failed stars, brown dwarfs exhibit a range of colors, from orange and red to predominantly magenta, rather than just brown. Yellow dwarfs, including our sun, are medium-sized stars that account for about 10% of the Milky Way's stellar population. With surface temperatures around 6,000 degrees Celsius, they emit a bright yellow or nearly white light. Stars such as Alpha Centauri AE, Tau Ceti, and 51 Pegasi are notable examples of yellow dwarfs. The evolution of yellow dwarfs culminates in their transformation into compact, dense white dwarfs, following a period as red giants. Finally, white dwarfs, also known as degenerate stars, represent the remnants of stars that have completed their life cycle. White dwarfs are astoundingly dense objects, with the mass of the sun compressed into a volume similar to Earth's. These stars are distinct because they do not undergo thermonuclear fusion. Instead, their dim luminosity is derived from residual thermal energy. The peculiar nature of white dwarfs has sparked debates among scientists regarding their density and gravitational fields. At just 20 years old, Subrahmanyan Chandrasekhar calculated the correct mass limit for white dwarfs, establishing that they cannot sustain a mass greater than approximately 1.4 times that of the sun. Brown dwarfs, on the other hand, generate heat through the gravitational compression of their mass, and some are capable of fusing lithium. However, these processes are ephemeral, rendering brown dwarfs relatively inactive. Due to their lukewarm approach to fusion, brown dwarfs gradually cool and dim over time, becoming nearly invisible to conventional telescopes. Nonetheless, they emit a soft infrared glow, a remnant of their more active past, which allows scientists to observe them using advanced instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope. W. ISC 1935 plus 2450 stands out as a solitary figure, distanced from any neighboring stars, which adds to its allure. Despite a modest temperature of around 200 degrees Celsius and being a mere 47 light years away, a stone's throw by cosmic standards, this brown dwarf remains a fascinating subject for astronomical study. In cosmic terms, WISE 1,935 plus 2,450 caught our attention for the first time in 2019, sparking intrigue among astronomers due to the presence of auroras, a phenomenon typically associated with charged particles from a star. However, WISA 1,935 plus 2,450 lacks nearby stellar companions, leaving scientists pondering the source of these charged particles. It's akin to attempting to ignite a grill without a spark, quite the conundrum. Further investigation using the James Webb Space Telescope revealed something unexpected, methane emissions. Yes, WISE 1935 plus 2450 is releasing methane, a significant discovery since, on planets like Jupiter and Saturn, methane emissions are tied to the interaction of charged particles with the atmosphere, leading to auroral displays. This suggests a similar mechanism might be at play with this solitary brown dwarf. Typically, methane in a brown dwarf's atmosphere absorbs infrared light, resulting in a dimming effect. However, WISA 1935 plus 2450 was found to be emitting light, defying expectations. Scientists are considering several theories to explain this phenomenon. One possibility is that WISA 1935 plus 2450 harbors an internal process 
generating the necessary energy for the auroras. Another theory suggests that interstellar plasma could be impacting the brown dwarf, or perhaps it's not as solitary as previously believed. The mystery of W ISA 1935 plus 2450's auroras continues to fuel scientific curiosity and research. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blesovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.